So resting on the bottom here, you can actually see big mouth. So she's our big smooth ray, um, or short tail ray, they're sometimes called. Um, you find these guys kind of all along the coast of New South Wales, um, right down almost south to Victoria. So they prefer the cooler waters. Um, you can find them right up to southwest rocks and seal rocks and places like that. But as you can see, we're just focusing on her tail at the moment. So a lot, most species of stingray will actually have um, a barb, which is what they use as their defence mechanism. So you can see big mouths along her tail. There's kind of a section where it goes up a little bit. That blunt section is actually where her barb starts. So normally their barbs are really pointed, um, and they kind of would use them as almost like they look like almost like a needle. Um, however, because we did move Big Mouth a couple of years ago, we moved her into a different this exhibit from a different exhibit. Um, we actually trimmed her barb, so that's why it's actually cut off at the end. And this was just for the safety of her and also for ourselves. Because it is very, very large, it could cause quite a bit of damage. However, there is a bit of a misconception that stingrays are dangerous and they always want to barb us and, you know, they're out to cause us harm. And that's actually not the case at all. So they'll actually only use that barb as a very, 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 very last line of defence. Because once they use it, it takes them about two years to grow it back. So during that time, she has no way of defending herself. So she would just be a big flat pancake, basically. Um, so they will only use it if they feel like they have no other option. Um, and as you can see, we have divers in here all the time. We run Shark Dive Extreme here as well. Um, so it's perfectly safe. She's just a big, gentle giant. 